A timeless classic in the cinematic realm, this film from the early 1970s continues to resonate across generations. Its enduring charm lies in the perfect fusion of comedic genius and chaotic happenstance that unfolds amidst a case of mistaken identities. What sets it apart are the impeccable performances and the cleverly crafted plot, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats with laughter. What gives this movie its everlasting appeal? Perhaps it's the seamless interplay of comedic elements or the iconic characters that etch themselves into memory. The impact of this film extends beyond entertainment. It's a masterclass in comedic storytelling that transcends time. Have you ever been deeply affected by a movie? Share your cherished memories or personal stories about how this film left a lasting impression. We'd love to hear your tales and experiences in the comments below. A comedy of errors ensues in a 1972 film where mix-ups, misunderstandings, and mayhem take center stage in San Francisco. Directed by Peter Bogdanovich, the movie features a mishmash of chaotic situations surrounding four identical plaid overnight bags. Enter the suave musicologist Howard Bannister, played by Ryan O'Neill, along with the eccentric Judy Maxwell, portrayed by Barbara Streisand. Their accidental bag swap launches a string of uproarious events involving a priceless jewel, government secrets, and a befuddled hotel manager. The chaos amplifies as other characters get entangled in the bag fiasco, leading to a hilarious chase across the city. With slapstick comedy reminiscent of classic screwball films, What's Up, Doc? Masterfully blends witty dialogue, physical comedy, and madcap scenarios. Streisand's portrayal of Judy, a force of nature with a penchant for causing chaos, and O'Neill's bewildered Howard contribute to the film's enduring charm. This comedy gem has left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent comedies, and serving as a timeless example of zany humor and comedic timing in cinema. Its enduring legacy continues to evoke laughter and admiration, cementing its place in the annals of cinematic comedy. The movie's soundtrack took a unique turn at wasn't an original score. Instead, Artie Butler arranged pre-existing tunes from Warner Bros. Library to create an elevator music vibe throughout. Only Barbara Streisand's songs were specially recorded for the film. Butler's approach added a distinct flavor to the movie's atmosphere, blending well with the chaotic comedy. However, the absence of a traditional score didn't diminish the film's impact, contributing to its distinctiveness within the comedy genre. This unconventional musical direction underscores the film's ability to innovate in more ways than one, further solidifying its enduring charm and appeal among audiences, showcasing its distinctiveness in cinematic history. In the 1972 comedy film featuring chaos in San Francisco, an interesting fact emerges about Judy Maxwell, portrayed by Barbara Streisand. Her character boasts an eclectic array of majors from various universities, spanning from political science to veterinary medicine. This multifaceted educational background adds depth to her already eccentric personality on screen. Another intriguing tidbit involves a stuntman doubling for Streisand during bicycle scenes. In a hair-raising moment, he tumbled off the bike during a sharp turn, resulting in a broken ankle. Additionally, the character Hugh Simon, played by Kenneth Mars, is believed to be a satirical take on a prominent film critic, known for his acerbic reviews. This parody seemingly took aim at the critic's reputation for scathing remarks, including ones directed at the director's prior work. These behind-the-scenes details offer an interesting peek into the film's production and the inspirations behind certain characters, adding depth to the narrative beyond the on-screen antics. The movie's unconventional soundtrack, comprised mostly of existing tunes arranged by Artie Butler, brought a unique vibe to the film's atmosphere, blending seamlessly with the chaotic comedy. These lesser-known aspects provide a richer understanding of the film's creation and the quirks surrounding its production, contributing to its enduring charm and cultural impact. The line, I would like to say I love your hair, spoken by Kenneth Mars in the movie, was actually improvised, as revealed by Peter Bogdanovich on the DVD commentary. This spontaneous addition added a touch of authenticity to the scene, highlighting the creative freedom allowed during filming. 
It's a testament to the actor's ability to enhance the script on the spot, contributing to the movie's natural flow and humor. This instance of improvised dialogue sheds light on the collaborative nature of the film's production, showcasing the talents of the actors and their contributions to the final product. The closing sequence of the film showcases a unique moment. Ryan O'Neill, known for his acting, sings alongside Barbara Streisand in You're the Top. This marks O'Neill's sole on-screen singing appearance, adding a special touch to the movie's finale. This unexpected musical collaboration becomes a standout moment for fans, blending O'Neill's performance skills with Streisand's musical prowess. It's a rare treat for audiences to witness this duo in a musical interlude, enhancing the film's conclusion with a memorable surprise. The closing sequence of the film showcases a unique moment. Ryan O'Neill, known for his acting, sings alongside Barbara Streisand in You're the Top. This marks O'Neill's sole on-screen singing appearance, adding a special touch to the movie's finale. This unexpected musical collaboration becomes a standout moment for fans, blending O'Neill's performance skills with Streisand's musical prowess. It's a rare treat for audiences to witness this duo in a musical interlude, enhancing the film's conclusion with a memorable surprise. The final chase scene in the movie, inspired by Bullet from 1968, was a colossal endeavor. It cost a significant chunk of the budget, about a quarter, totaling a million dollars. This 11-minute sequence demanded 19 days of shooting and involved 32 stuntmen. Specifically, the segment with the massive pane of glass alone took four to five days to capture. This glass scene was shot at the intersection of Balboa and 23rd Avenue in San Francisco's Richmond District. This elaborate, costly chase was a tribute to Bullet and a monumental feat in itself, showcasing the dedication and meticulous planning behind the film's most thrilling moments. The intricacies of its creation offer insight into the sheer effort poured into crafting a memorable cinematic experience. Ryan O'Neill, drawing inspiration from Cary Grant's role in Bringing Up Baby, sought advice directly from Grant himself. Grant's soul counsel, wear silk underpants, this quirky encounter mirrors the essence of the film's zany humor, reflecting the lengths actors went to for their roles. Such amusing anecdotes behind the scenes add layers to the on-screen chaos, revealing the unique preparations taken for this timeless comedy. And did you know this movie is filled with subtle nods? When Judy watches the pizza chef tossing dough, the faint melody of Santa Lucia play sung by none other than the director, Peter Bogdanovich. These small details peppered throughout the film offer delightful insights into the creative mind shaping its whimsical world. These behind-the-scenes tidbits enrich the movie's playful spirit, showcasing the intricate connections woven into its fabric. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey, I encourage you to pause and delve into the treasure trove of memories spun by that captivating 1972 gem. Your personal connection with this film might be akin to a vibrant mosaic, composed of cherished scenes, uproarious laughter, or perhaps even a touch of nostalgia. What stirred within you as the plot unfolded? Did the characters etch themselves into the canvas of your mind? Take a moment to reminisce, to revel in the delightful chaos, the witty banter, and the peculiar charm that only cinema of that era could deliver. Share with us your fondest recollections, your musings that echo the brilliance of this cinematic masterpiece. Your insights, reflections, and anecdotes weave a tapestry of collective appreciation for this timeless creation. Your voice adds depth and color to the mosaic of experiences, reminding us all why this movie continues to hold a special place in the hearts of many. Thank you for indulging in this shared journey down memory lane. Your presence and engagement enrich this delightful conversation. Until we meet again, keep those vibrant memories alive.